Rogan and Oliver Anthony mock liberal critiques of rich men north of Richmond. Rogan joked that there is nothing funnier than millionaires declaring these billionaires are out of touch. Podcaster Joe Rogan spoke to musician Oliver Anthony about his rise to fame after releasing the hit song, Rich Men North of Richmond, and mocked the outrage it's caused. The red-bearded Virginia farmer and musician rose from relative obscurity to ranking number one on Billboard Hot 100 for a song he recorded while out in the American wilderness. Not all of the American public has praised the artist, however. Some have objected to his lyrics lamenting that the obese are milk and welfare and his declaration that if you're 5 ft minus 3 and you're 300 pounds taxes ought not to pay for your bags of fudge rounds on wednesday rogan mentioned that his song has become a subject of discussion to the point where everybody is getting involved citing how dwight from the office actor rain wilson chimed in on its lyrics wilson who played dwight in the office wrote in a social media post, if I were writing a song about rich men north of Richmond, I wouldn't talk about obese people on welfare, I'd sing about CEOs who make 400 times their average worker's salary up from 50 times 30 years ago and core that pay zero taxes and offshore tax shelters for billionaires. Rogan turned the scrutiny back on Wilson himself and joked, there is nothing funnier than millionaires talking s about billionaires. There is nothing funnier about millionaires pretending, these billionaires are out of touch. Rogan then suggested, take Dwight from, the office, down to West Virginia, take him through those coal mining countries, take him through those places in Appalachia where people have extreme poverty, noting that, pills, have devastated those regions. Throughout rural Virginia, that poverty is a big issue, and drugs are a big issue and I mean it's not just even in the rural areas, and you go into downtown Richmond or any downtown anywhere for that matter," Anthony said. He added that lately it appears that these problems exist everywhere now, to the point that that's why the song resonated the way it did.